this tutorial is building on the key pressed variable and actually allowing you to identify specific keys. So and tie uh, specific a a snippets of code to each of those keys. So if we look here, we've got three variables, an X position, a Y position, and a rotation variable. Um, this size 500 by 500, rect mode is set to center, color mode is set to HSB. We have a background in the draw loop now, so the background is going to keep redrawing each time we cycle through the draw loop. No stroke, a fill of white. We're using push matrix and pop matrix, and so we're translating to the X position and Y position, so the values. So the first translate will be to the center of the screen at 250, 250. And then we're rotating uh, radians, so the rotation is zero. Um, and then we draw the rectangle. So we push matrix, translate to the center, rotate the value of rotations, and then draw the rectangle with those two transformations. And then we pop the matrix. We increment up the value of rota rotation. So we go from one to two. Um, and here we've got a nested conditional. First, we're just looking to see if a key pressed is true. So we're testing that variable. And as soon as a key pressed is true, then we have a second conditional in the nest, and that's an if else statement. And so it's looking for key values. So in this case, it's looking for a lowercase u. So if key is equal to lowercase u or is equal to uppercase u. And this is a, this is something you traditionally do to stop um, if key locks is, or if caps locks is um, pushed down, it won't see a lowercase letter. So it's a good practice to have both upper and lowercase if possible. So in, in this case, I did it right. Then I'm, I didn't continue because um, I'm lazy. Maybe. Um, so if, if the letter U is pressed, we increment the Y position up. So it, it up physically, it's it's decrementing it lower as a smaller number, but it's moving the Y position towards the top of the canvas. If we press the J button, it's moving in towards the bottom of the canvas. And if you look on your keyboard, U is above J, so that's sort of up and down keys. And then H and K are left and right keys. So if we play this, you can see doing nothing, the rectangle is just rotating. Um, if we hit other keys, nothing happens. But if we hit U, it goes up. If we hit J, it goes down. If we hit H, it goes left. And if we hit K, it goes right. So now we can actually move something around on the screen using the keys. So these values can be any values you choose. The incrementation does not, it can be larger values. So we can say y position equals y position plus 5. And so then if we run it again, now. a plus instead of a minus uh, minus five okay so right now it's really fast slow fast so it's five times as fast so in the in the spirit of that what we could do is instead of having all it we could create another variable called float MOV equals 
we'll just say one to start and then instead of hard coding these changes we can say y position equals y position minus move x position or y position equals y position plus move and we can have additional key tests so we'll just borrow this so we'll have a second nested conditional so we still want it inside of the variable test so we'll use sketch edit auto format to get all my spacing sorted because we basically want this on the same level as this this conditional so we'll say if key now we're just going to choose two values to increment up so i'm going to use the arrow keys now let's use o and p so o capital o move plus plus okay else o and p right p it's or key equals and it's always got to be two equal signs p then move minus minus right so this will increment move up and this will decrement move down so now we're we're changing the value of the variable that's being added to or subtracted to x position y position so let's run this now and see oops else if key extra parentheses okay so now we'll move it so up and down and so now we'll tap P a couple times so it should go down so now now it should actually yeah see now it's moving in the opposite direction because we've got negative numbers so We'll increase it with O. So s very quickly gets super fast because key pressed is is as long as it's happening, it's true. And so if we do a quick print line here, just to see what the value is. That's one. So tapping O, see now it's 16. So already, this is a very big number, right? So if we go up, right, it's moving very fast. So we'd probably want to manage that a bit and actually, instead of going, inc instead of incrementing it with a plus plus, we'd probably say move equals move plus and then we use a fractional number like uh, you know 0 0.25 okay so that's key pressed with keys specific keys being identified uh, within the conditional